Hey everybody, Jay Todd out on Fremont Street with SpongeBob. <laughs> and here's what's happening this week in gambling. Yeah, you got some moves. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by the online portion of World Casino Directory. Trusted online casinos, hundreds of free games, and one of the largest game databases available. All at online.worldcasinodirectory.com. Hey everyone, busy week in gambling news and politics for that matter. We're going to talk about both. Plus, Zynga is getting ready to enter real money gaming. But first, this week's big story. Full Tilt Poker is back up and running. And if you don't live in the United States, you can now log in, play, or just cash out. All this made possible from the buyout by the operators of PokerStars, who paid the U.S. Department of Justice $730 million. Part of that $730 million currently being held by the U.S. government was earmarked to pay back players living in the United States who had money on deposit at full tilt. But uh, so far, no word from the Department of Justice on when or if that money will be dispensed to the players. Guess they got a hold on to it for as long as possible, you know, uh, let the interest build and build. Also, I've been known to pick on Zynga Poker on this program from time to time. Well, more than once. Okay, quite a bit. But in fairness, I just don't think the software is that great. And, and playing poker there is kind of like spinning a roulette wheel. Perhaps, though, I counted them out too early as they just signed a deal with BWIN Party to start delivering real money poker to players in the United Kingdom early next year. So, uh, booyah for them. You know, uh, here in America, we just had a presidential election. Some of you may have heard about it. Well, on our website at thisweekingambling.com, we had been conducting a poll about which candidate would have been the best choice for the gambling industry. And 59% of people responding said Barack Obama. So, guess it's a good thing he won, huh? Also, in case you missed it, yours truly was a guest on Tuesday night at On Tilt Radio for their election night coverage. I was joined by poker expert Rich Muni, uh, my good friend Dan from Pokerati, plus 2004 main event winner Greg Raymer, along with, of course, On Tilt's usual professional show hosts. We all had a very good time, lively debate and discussion about politics and poker, so I wanted to send a shout out to all my friends at On Tilt Radio. Like us, then join the conversation on our Facebook page. Interact with show hosts and other viewers. Leave suggestions and topics for future programs. Visit facebook.com slash thisweekingambling. I want to know the truth. Is that your real nose or are you just happy to see me? A little of both. <laughs> You're sexy and you know it? I'm sexy and you know it. Nah. You know, uh, the American Gaming Association just released a study that says slot machines are still casino patrons' favorite games when they go out for a night of gambling entertainment. So I thought perhaps some of you would like to get a sneak preview of some of the newest slot machines you're going to be seeing on casino floors very soon. 
When I was at the Global Gaming Expo, I caught up with WMS, one of the world's biggest slot manufacturers, and they gave me a preview of what they've got coming. Hey everyone, I'm out here on the floor of the Global Gaming Expo where I've caught up with Jennifer Haley, the principal producer for WMS Games. If you're out there, you're ever uh, going to a casino and you want to play some slots or whatever, you may, you've probably played a WMS game. Jennifer, thank you for coming on with me. Would you tell my players out there exactly, if they don't know who WMS is, and about some of your new games, like the KISS game here behind us? Sure. Uh, WMS is a manufacturer of casino games. Um, we are uh, one of the leading innovators in uh, video and mechanical real content. And we are also introducing for the first time uh, our poker product this year as well, so we're very excited about that too. Okay, cool. So you got a poker product coming out. Yes, we do. Tell me a little bit. I'm a poker player, so tell me a little bit about that. Yes, um, we have been doing extensive research over the last couple of years with players who enjoy playing poker um, to try to come up with the, the best possible poker experience that we can deliver. And we learned a lot from our players about how important it is for them to feel comfortable for a long play session. So what we've done is we've taken that, the information from our research and we've applied that to a brand new cabinet with a brand new button layout. And we've also included um, the ability to personalize your poker game um, so that every time you come back to the casino to play a WMS poker game, you're able to come back to the same experience. It will save your settings and you can come back to them every time. Wow, that is really, really cool. Uh, we got the KISS game behind us here. That's one of your brand new featured games. Yes, yes it is. Uh, we're very excited about the KISS license. It's one of our licenses that has tested extremely well with players. Um, as you can see back here, it's got a bright top box. It's going to really stand out on the casino floor. And we've incorporated a lot of um, the popular KISS songs. We feel like it's going to resonate with a lot of players and really attract a lot of attention on the casino floor. All right, and real quickly, any one more, uh, give me one more brand new game that you're really excited about. Uh, one more, that's tough. <laughs> I'll give you two more. One is uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. We Oompa Loompa time. Oompa Loompa time, yes, we're very excited about that. We feel that that's going to be a strong brand, such as uh, uh, similar to the, how the Wizard of Oz brand has been very strong for us. Um, we're introducing that this year, or, uh, uh, next year actually. Uh, we're showing it on the show floor today, but it, it incorporates our uh, motion chair technology. So you get to take a ride on the Chocolate River as you're playing the game and see the Oompa Loompas and view all kinds of memorable clips from the movie. It's dirty, it's polluted, it's chocolate. <laughs> Jennifer, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Everyone, thanks for watching this week in gambling. SpongeBob, I gotta tell you, you're, you're a likable fella, but but I just have a problem with sponges. My wife was on the sponge, and that's how we got our twins. <laughs> you just can't depend on a sponge. Now with 50% more aspartame.